There's a camera in here. Mm -hmm, it's turned on. There's three cameras in here. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess that means this is Internet Roundup. We're being coy. I'm Chuck, and that's Josh. We do the Stuff You Should Know podcast. And every week we sit in this very room mm -mm. with our laptops open and our microphones in our faces right. and these three cameras. And Casey's sitting over there. And we go over a couple of things on the Internet <laughs> that we thought we were curators. We're aggregators. We're the, tastemakers. The tastemakers. The very people that I just recently went off on on a podcast. Tastemakers? We're doing that. Yeah. We're cultivating. Curating. We're curating. I don't know about taste making, but. We'll see. Unless you're talking about bad taste. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, let's do the story of Muhammad Abad. So he really likes to describe what this thing is for. He sure does. <laughs> There's a man named Muhammad Abad. He's 43. Mm -hmm. I take it he lives where? Uh, I don't know. Scotland, I think. Edinburgh, oh, Scotland. You're right. You're yeah. right. In Edinburgh. You have to like choke oh, at the end. Sure. Um and he had he got in a car accident. Well, he got in an accident with a car where he was dragged at age six. Yes. And apparently he connected with the car around about his genital area, and ultimately it was torn off at age six. His his penis. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I know you don't like saying that word, so I was saying it for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I said genitals. Yeah, but you didn't say penis. But I, uh, I mean, who <laughs> knows what all was attached to that? Well, I know what's attached to it. Testicles. Right. Genitals encompasses penis and testicles. I just wanted to see if you I'm say not it. afraid to say <laughs> penis. All right. The P word. That was a test. Uh, so the, the very sad, obviously horrific accident. But he is doing pretty well these days because he has had a surgical procedure done, and he is now fitted with an eight-inch bionic penis. So things are going pretty well for him, I guess. He certainly sounds happy about it. So <clears throat> It's a three-year process. He There's a couple of quotes from him. He told the son, uh, when you want a bit of action, you press the on button. When you're finished, you press another button. It takes seconds. Yes. I don't know what he was referring to when he said it takes seconds. Well, I think for the penis to become uh, erect. Oh, gotcha. Because he goes on to describe in a little more detail, I have a pump in my testicles. Uh, so when I want to have sex, I pump it up, inflate it, and the fluid makes its way into the tubes, and that gives me an erection. Okay, fair enough. You can just end it there. And then after that, I deflate it when I'm finished, is what he says. <laughs> he could have ended it there, you say. Uh, he's currently divorced and single, <laughs> but um, he says he dreams of having kids, and it's a true miracle. And by God, it is a true miracle. Well, yeah. Can you imagine? If he had kids? Just to have a functioning penis that he can use again, I think. Period. Yeah, he was describing having kids as a miracle. Oh, okay. I bet you he describes the whole thing as a Probably. miracle. Probably. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. He's 43. This accident happened when he was six. God. Can you imagine? It's amazing. Oh. It's just amazing what they can do these days with uh, with body parts, with uh, fake arms, fake legs, and now like a fully functioning. I don't think this is the first one, but um, no, but this is the one where they got the guy to talk about it the most. Yeah, and they call it bionic, but he uh, <laughs> he uh, it, it they use skin grafts from his arm, uh, so it's not like it's it's not uh, made of like cold steel, <laughs> right? It's fleshy. Sure. All right. It's also not sentient. It's not artificially intelligent <laughs> or anything like that. Not yet. No. No. Bionic. That's the New York Daily News for you. Yeah, that's exactly. Let's just file this one away. Yeah, let's move on to the 4-H. So the 4-H in Michigan, Traverse City, Michigan. Been there? You have? <clears throat> yeah, it's in the Upper Peninsula. Somewhere. Oh, yeah? I don't remember where. I think it's by Mackinac Island. Okay. I could be wrong. But anyway, there's been a terrible, terrible, terrible outbreak of avian flu in the United States. So just as a reference, something like 50 million... Yeah, 50 million chickens and turkeys. ...have uh, been killed. Yeah. Or died from avian flu or killed to prevent the spread of the disease. Yeah, mainly in the Midwest, I think. Hasn't worked. This no. year, this is 2015 we're talking about, not yeah. over the last like 
20 years or anything like that. Yeah, it's a lot of birds. It is. Um, and to help try to contain this avian flu, the 4-H in Traverse City, Michigan said, uh, kids, we really shouldn't have our poultry showing competition. And the kids went, oh, man. And the adults went, oh, my heart, my heart strings. The adults went, oh, thank God. They they <laughs> said, well, you know what? We're going to figure out a way to make the show go on. Uh-huh. We're going to use fake birds. Yeah, and, and they, they did. Didn't. They did so. Uh, the kids were uh, all game, and they saw it as a chance to be creative. Um, they let the kids they even had a theme, a Hawaiian theme, I believe. This the year, the beach was the theme. Oh, the beach, not specifically Hawaii. It could be any beach. But of course, the kids went Polynesian with a lot of the clothing yeah. on, the, on the chickens. The most hated kids went with like rocky beaches. No one likes those. <laughs> no, <laughs> here's the beach in Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, um, they, they took on the spirit of the competition though. Um, like champs, it sounds like made some of them out of uh, paper mache. Uh, it says, uh, one minimalist put an open laptop in the center of his pen with a looping video of his birds. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was genius. Uh, yeah. It was better than a paper mache bird. Yeah. He's like, these are my real birds. If you had like some Nitzareb playing yeah. in the <laughs> pen too, that would have been perfect. Instead of minimalist, they should just say one child smartly used technology. Oh, this person clearly didn't know what they were saying when they used that word. So when it comes time to actually show the chickens though, um, they actually had to have something to hold. Yes, because there's certain things when you show a chicken, there's certain things that you do in the process of showing a chicken. Yeah, like a like a dog show or any other animal show. Yes. This is a little different. Apparently in a in a poultry show, a chicken show, um, when you're handling it, you have to hold the bird up and blow on its tuchus. Yes. Um and you do that because you're separating the feathers to check the chicken for mice. Or lice. No, mites. Mites. It was a combination of lice yeah. and mites. Mice. Well that'd be like your chicken has a mouse in his butt. <laughs> that would be a blue ribbon winner, I think. Yeah, little mouse is up. <laughs> so um, they needed these fake birds, and apparently other uh, area chicken poultry shows had also gone shopping for stuffed chickens. And so they had a hard time finding stuffed chickens. Yeah. And they finally did. They found five puffy chickens, uh, it says, with quizzical expressions, a white feathered goose that was stiff as a stone, a duck with a similar demeanor and a plush turkey. Yeah. Whose only purpose in life was to snuggle. Which I so I think this is really great that the 4-H did this. Yeah, I mean we're we're kidding around, but they weren't they didn't have to cancel the show. No. The kids look forward to this. They train and practice this all year long. Uh, unless they're just made to do so by their parents. <laughs> Either way, they did it. <laughs> That's right. The, this article raises the question for me though, does everything have to be long form? It, it was a way long article. It really was. It was about six t- printed pages, and it could have been a blurb with a picture. Don't you think? Yes, I do. Uh, so that's it for Internet Roundup. I think the moral of the story in both cases is the show must go on, and we will see you next week.